show y'all this before I put stain on it. This is the upper part of the cabinet. This is the top of the pantry and the top of the shelf and then this piece comes down right here and then I'm going to connect the next one here and run straight over and then the next one down will be framed in a little box and then that's where the uh, plates go and then another one goes across on the bottom of it so yeah so I'm gonna get this stained and put in place each piece I can just put in place I don't have all of it so this is the first piece so get it stained I get it in the house in the next day or so because I got to put two coats of stain on it and then the clear so yeah all right let me get busy all right here's our shelf i got two coats on it uh i got it on the top side and underneath the top the top's already been dried and then this is my second coat i had put it on late last night and i just got off a little early so i was able to get it out here in the sun and let it dry this is the edge you're going to see right here this is the top or the bottom of the top of the shelf you'll see this you really won't see this under here got our edge real nice and dark you're going to see that unless this is the next piece here comes down my next shelf leads off of this and then it'll be an open spot here in a little box and that's where the plates are going to go in there a little shelf but you're not going to see it. it's going to be completely enclosed and then the plates will be in the in the next shelf so all right, well, cool beans, it's going to take a while. So uh, it's got no clear on it or nothing. It's just got two coats on it. I did it, like I said, late last night, and I got it out here in the sun. So I'm going to let it dry today, and then I'll put the satin on it tomorrow. All right, let's let this dry. All right, that's my second coat of my uh, satin clear done. So let it sit out here and dry. I think it looks real good. We'll get this hung in the next day or so and try to get it finished up. I gotta buy another piece and uh, finish up my shelving, but it's no big deal. All right, let me let this dry. All right, there's the first piece of our shelf hung. It comes all the way back right there. We didn't have enough. I'm gonna tomorrow. Uh, I'll get out there and finish up this piece. The the length of the shelf where I wanted it to stop dictated where this. It's eight foot long, so. This shelf needed to be, you see right here, I wanted it in line with the bar. So when it comes up, it all, this line stays right down through here. So, cool beans. All right, so I'm going to get that piece over there made tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. All right, I hope y'all enjoy it <laughs> so far. Oh, the wind got the piece that we needed to finish up our shelf. Uh, so right here, I got it laid out to the pieces we need with the centerpiece ain't. We're not going to have a use for it. It kind of sucks, but it's the way it goes. Well, I got everything laid out. I need to cut it out, and I'm going to put it together out here and then stain it all outside, of course, and then uh, we got to clear coat it as well before we get in there. Right, let me get my pieces cut out. All right, I got the shelf put together now, how it's going to look. So this is what you're going to come up, and you're going to see, and, of course, it'll be this way. I just got it standing up that way before I can stain it come around and then the little box here and then all the plates will go right here so, do, 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 do. so cool beans they'll all be hidden behind that you won't see it so all i gotta do is get it stained i need to sand some of these off here all right i gotta do some sanding all right there is our shelf right there see i still think we could if we we do something we could highlight something on this piece here or something when we do the cabinets we light the cabinet doors that's the only section left of the uh, pantry cabinets uh, left to go but this is how this goes Ow. <laughs> and there's the plates right there so the plates is in there probably need a little light up here what right there to the top you can touch it I screwed it in here I screwed it in real nice there that way it won't fall there I got an attachment with a Craig joint into the uh, stud right here so it's not coming down same thing over here I used a Craig joint because I couldn't get it through the back side because I had that piece there I could attach this one and I might still run some screws through here but I use a Craig joint 
and I put me attached there and there, here and here. So there's three points there, and then of course the top runs all the way over to here. So that's got the weight there and my pivot point. So we good to go. That's got room for the plates and all all your mushroom stuff. Yeah. Huh? Yes. So what do you think? Huh? Well, I mean, the overall look of it so far, we, we like the doors, and I mean, it's pretty much done, other than the doors. That's a lot, unless we put something over top of the refrigerator, but you didn't want nothing across there. I can't reach. And then, all right, well, cool beans. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoy. That's the shelf. It stuck me a little bit. We got sick. And then I kind of didn't get nothing done for like a week and a half, two weeks. So finished catching up where I was at with my project. All right. Well, I hope y'all enjoy and I'll holler at y'all taters later.